And welcome to Double Talk. Really? Yes. Well, we're here. <coughs> we're here. I'm God, Mark. You know what it takes to get here every week exactly at the same time is just amazing. If it's only they knew out there what we go through. How much work there is. To bring uh, the show uh, called Double Talk It's amazing. Homes. We have to change our shirts two or three times during the show because we're sweating like banshees. Banshees yes. don't sweat, do they? I don't know. They have a lot of hair. <coughs> but welcome to Double sweat. Talk. My name is Mark Stefan. Uh, is it? And you are? I am uh, Michael. Man, this is Mark, Michael. you know me. Mm -hmm. We've known each. Remember, we've known each other for like oh. low these twenty well, I've years. I've never seen you with that shirt on before. That's true. That's because this is your shirt. That's how it works. <coughs> Anyhow, uh, perhaps you are depressed by the uh, rain that we've had here. Well, that and beeping noises. That, I'm hearing in my head. Is that your beeping noises? It can't be me. It's not me. It's probably you. <laughs> These things happen sometimes. I have never heard that noise. It's live television, It's really folks. weird. You, can, you never know what to expect. Uh, that's right. We're live. That's you true. know, people wonder why we don't do uh, news at the top of the hour. It's because we don't know what the hour is. That's why. No. So we just do things like, have you noticed the rain? Well, the news is ongoing, so we can't talk about it until it's finished happening. Yes, that's the rain. right. It, 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 right, while it's going on, nobody wants to talk about it. Well, you know, there's but we can talk about the weather because it's always on, and nobody ever does anything nobody about it. Well, except here, we talk about it, and we try to do something about it. Like when it's wet outside, we come inside. But it, we've had a wonderful rainy week. Uh, it's I've, I've enjoyed it. It's kind of over. Now we, it's over now. We think. You know, with all, a number of things have been destroyed. The town of, I mean, I want to go right into the town of. Well, there's rain, La Union, because uh, first of all, it's pronounced that way. Union. Uh, union. 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 U union. Yes. Uh, a lot of trouble there, a lot of trouble, well, not locally, but in Colorado. And in uh, Mexico, they just had, uh, got hit by two uh, hurricanes in a At row. At once, the perfect storm. You know, and there's so many people dying and there's so much infrastructure that's being undermined. The the street, the road to our mm -hmm. space station out by uh, yes. TRC was uh, destroyed. Uh, nobody can get there except for UFOs, well, we which are the ones that it's made for, right? It's a space station. You can fly it's a space in. station. It's you got should. one of the longest runways in the country there. Yes, yeah, so if that didn't get up. And, but they were flooded down in La Union and other places around that's town. That's pretty funny. I think this uh, is El Paseo right there. Uh, yeah, that, that's people who really want to go swimming, but they dove in the wrong direction. Uh, and so it's going to stay wet. The thing is, there are so many problems with the weather that we have to work on. Why do we attack other countries? Why don't we spend all our efforts, first of all, to take the rain from places that's rainy and bring it here when we need it? We need to well, do be nice. more work with the weather. Well, you know, the, the, we need a the weather, weather was budget. good, though. All that rain was good it for, was. for Elephant Butte. Uh, it raised the level of the water. You can about see how high the water there used to be. Yeah, well, it's still about that high. It's still down to 7%. Yes. But it did go up 7 inches, so well, it that's pretty good. Well, it was down to 3% at one point of it's capacity. Amazing. But there was a little water trickling down the river this week. That was good. You know, if you get that type of grade on your paper in school, you'd flunk. So what we're saying is that Elephant Butte flunks in the lake division. That's true, it does. It does. It's the most flunkingest lake in the in America, probably, except maybe a salt bed, well, probably in uh, uh, Salton Sea in California. Well, another thing that's happened is, you know, the rain... Do you have something uh, else we're talking about? The rain affects the crops. Because now the fields were too wet to, for the crops to be yeah. harvested. They, they affect the crops in a good way when they're here at the right time. A bad way when it's time to go out there and, you know, it's chilly, pepper season. Well, it caused my roof to leak, so I've got to figure out what's wrong. The ceiling was showing water damage. So, you know what you <clears> do now? What? Grow crops inside. Oh, well. They'll keep them protected from the weather, but also give them a w source of water. So well, I need, a co I need I have a crop of weeds right now in the backyard I have to get rid of. And now, you know, codes are going oh, around. Are we talking about weeds yet? Citing oh, okay. people for all the weeds. Uh, yeah, uh, well, you weren't all growing weed in the backyard. All You're weeds are weeds. illegal. According weeds. to the codes department, you all know, weed is illegal. So, that's true. All, well, not all weeds. You know, the definition of a weed is something growing someplace you don't want it to because some weeds have very nice mm -hmm. flowers other weeds you can consider you know a little the grass that is like a grass grass if Crab that's grass. growing in the wrong place it, it's a weed so there were the uh, codes guys 
and girl on bicycles in front of somebody's house next to me and they're talking to them or writing up a ticket and then they drive past my house and the front of my house has quite a mess of weeds, not that bad. And they stop in that house next to me because there's shade of a tree and I can't tell if they're looking at my house to give me a ticket or not, but my theory is that if weeds are only things that are not growing or are growing where you don't want them to be, I take a picture of my lawn and say, this is exactly where I wanted these things I to be these growing. Weeds. Yes. I picked all the other weeds but these. I, these are not weeds. weeds. This is uh, the decorative uh, lush shrubbery. That's right. And, and we do it that way. So I've been, I'm waiting. I'm sitting at home waiting for my codes warning. So we'll see what happens. I also covered it with ground clear. You know, ground clear is uh, just short of Agent Orange yes. for getting rid of weeds. And uh, I was spraying stuff in the backyard because I had leftover. And then I went in the backyard and picked weeds and then realized I was picking the weeds I just sprayed. Killed. You have to pick them anyway. And then the trouble is uh, uh, I realized it was on my hands. So, so I immediately had, I was totally psychotic. I mean, it all got into my system. I, I died a little bit and then uh, luckily I recovered. Well, I, I should try I some over stuff, it. see if it works. I got some weeds on in my me? backyard. Oh, oh I'm weeds. Yeah. Well, anything works. Roundup works great. <laughs> so does just pulling the weed. And putting the, it in pulling the, the weed works, but uh, what happens is you still leave some weed in there and it can grow from that. If you do Roundup, kills the weed, and then you go and pick, you give it a few days to make sure it's not going to spread. And uh, then you pull the weed. But then you're dumping toxic chemicals into the atmosphere and onto the earth. So what? We're not going to be around forever. Uh, and enough people are putting enough toxic stuff in here that you don't have to worry. The only thing I'm afraid of is my uh, little salamander is not going to live through this. But we'll see. They're, those guys are pretty resilient. The trouble with the weeds that you have sprayed is then you have the same weeds. They're just a different color. They're light brown. And soon they'll, <clears throat> they'll grow uh, accustomed to the killer and they won't die. No, they're already dead. And then you're so negative. I mean, give it a shot. You're against vaccines too, aren't you? People getting vaccines. <laughs> in some, in yes, some I cases, am. like in cases. smallpox. Why would we have a smallpox or a polio vaccine, right? Is that what you're <laughs> it's saying? It's not so much the vaccination I'm against. It's the ingredients used in the preservative <clears throat> That is a mercury-based uh, preservative called, <coughs> excuse me, Thrymeldicon 12. Great. Everything that you have in chemicals have scary names. Oh, so it doesn't really ma matter. Thimerosal is doesn't a, really is, matter. I mean, you it, can, is it come from Omnicrom 4, the galaxy far away? No, it's mercury. The, so what? We, people you don't used want to, mercury ingested. The Mad Hatter had mercury. They, people used to make cats with uh, mercury. That's, That's why people went crazy. Yes. But being mad isn't the worst thing in the world. It also does. If you're a, happy mad. It also destroys your liver and other functioning organs. Oh, how long is the liver going to go Brain damage. Anyway? brain damage, you know, and some people that helps. Well, yeah, I can it think of one. That it oh, well, oh, oh, yeah. Well, maybe it's been working on me. Well, thank you. Speaking of the tips of weeds. It's very little mercury in so the leaving vaccinations. A tip, a tip oh, in a restaurant. Man, that was some jump. Uh, I, I'm still looking for the things on our list. That's why I look up there. The, the crops are good. What? Those words are so small, I can't read them. Never mind. Uh, What's that? Well, you know, the IRS is cracking down now on tips that uh, service people get because it's part of, part of their income. Only if the tips are added onto the check. When you have six or more people, they add on 18%. Right. So they're not going to do that. You know, it doesn't really matter because sometimes most people ask for separate checks, right? Yes, right. And that breaks up that six, uh, sometimes they throw on the 18% even, and they break it up. And then since I'm a 20 percenter, mm -hmm. oh, oh, because- You tip an extra 2%? Well, I, I tip to the next uh, even number, whatever that is. Well, sometimes why people, bother making it to the cent? Well, some people don't realize that they're being, that they're having a tip added to their bill of six or more. So then they tip on top of that. So now the waiter's getting 20, 30%. Nothing wrong with that. You know, that would uh, solve, solve a lot of poverty. People kept uh, doing things like that. 
If you kept overcharging the customers, yeah. I think people notice if they know anything about math. But do people know anything about math anymore? No. Don't so. They don't know how to calculate a tip quite often. Well, I think you'd have to figure out, wait, I had a meal for 15 bucks, you had a meal for 15, then we bought a bottle of wine for $300. Uh, bill should come out to for about uh, 330 mm. bucks, right? So you figure a tip on that is what, 66 bucks. So if they already charge you that, then you're not going to add another 66. That's how I look at it. Uh, well, it's You've true, often come into those numbers, right? I, well, 66 one, bucks. Tip. One thing to remember is you don't tip on tax. You look at the bill well, amount, you don't tip on, uh, on the tax but amount. But you're not you doing an exact tip. Amount. You're doing an average tip. Yeah, of the you're not going to do amount. like a, a three dollar and forty three cent tip. And you round it up the next quarter. Yeah. So what are you saying here? What's well, your what's your anger? I'm I saying mean, no, Betty sure, Boop deserves I'm, as yes. all the tips I can I'm give. I'm saying her. make sure you tip your your service person because here in Las Cruces, a waiter and a bartender gets paid two dollars and thirteen cents an hour because it is assumed that they will get tipped enough to bring them up to minimum wage. Which would be seven dollars an hour. Yes. Which means they have to make what, uh, maybe six bucks in tips an hour. I would assume a good waiter or bartender should uh, rake in close to uh, 30, 40 bucks an hour. Well, you think a good I bartender would, would go home after shift with a hundred bucks in tips? I would think that. Well, which means a hundred bucks a day. This and, is Las Cruces. And a lot of people have part-time jobs, so it's the breaks, man. Doesn't always work. So tip your waiter. Now, speaking yes. of food, you know, and we're talking about food and eating and restaurants, you know, uh, food stamps for many people here in Doniana County are a necessary means to get enough to eat. That's true. What about 20% on food stamps? 19%? Yeah, something like that. Food and, and, uh, you know, a lot of people think food stamps shouldn't be out there because you're often standing behind somebody and they're buying things that you don't approve of, right? You mean you sodas, hear that a lot. lots of sodas and You know and what and I don't approve food. of? What's that? Pork rinds. Pork rinds, well, I don't either, but that's junk food. <laughs> yeah, but I guess pork rind has, you know, enough fatty acid to keep you alive for another day. Well, what if you're in line behind somebody that were buying... Uh, and they Steaks. Had food stamps are buying uh, gefilte fish. <laughs> that's their problem. <laughs> I don't know. Matzah. No, uh, Should they be buying that with food good. stamps? Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough food. You can I buy mean, what, who are we to say what people should be eating? I think people feel that it's not good to give, uh, uh, let's say, welfare on another topic, welfare to people who have brand new F-150s. Uh, you know, they, mm -hmm. they spend their money in one place, and so people don't like that. But there are genuinely poor people yes, there are. who need this stuff. And if you go looking at the exceptions and cutting away the entire program for the exceptions, you're screwing well, yourself. Well, there will always be an abuser to whatever free yes. program is out there. But you can't... You can't, uh... you know, the abusers of these programs, welfare, food for your kids, things like that, is nothing compared to the abuse of the financial system. Right. So just because there's and abuse in that the doesn't mean you system. condemn the entire program. Now, That's right. I can see where people Let like me uh, will see a person buying food with food stamps. And yet I look and, they've, and they and they have uh, dozens of expensive tattoos that they didn't have a problem affording. And then uh, when they're done buying their food, they, they buy cigarettes off the food stamps, mm -hmm. which it seems to me would be a luxury they can't afford. Ridiculous. Um, so what you're saying, uh, if I'm hearing you right, is you should have food stamps, tattoo stamps, and uh, uh, cigarette. cigarette stamps. So that you can buy cigarettes with the stamps, well, and that way you don't waste your food on stamps. Cigarettes on. are so highly taxed, and uh, ah, hopefully ah. that tax will go to help pay for the food stamps. That would be good. I think it goes to <laughs> keeping people on anti-cigarette programs. It's the TV programs that you see that keep people from smoking. I don't know what it's for. Well, I hope this program doesn't cause people to smoke. But I, <laughs> but here's one thing that's, that, that is a freebie to tonight. Tonight at Saturday night. In Young Park, when it, go, when it gets Why are you dark, it? Yeah. the movie 42 will be showing. The that was not so great, was it? The true story of an American legend starring Harrison Ford as the coach. Yeah. Who finds Jackie Robinson and has the courage to put him on the team. I heard that was The first so, Negro so. player. Did you see this I movie? I didn't see it. So that's kind of good, I guess. Free, free movie, if you didn't see it. Does, it. does that take place of the Sunday night jazz concerts that they used to have at Young Park? Uh, no, that's Saturday nights. Saturday yeah, nights. this is Saturday. So... But, we're we're uh, going to take a break right now. We are? we are. It's time for a commercial break. Yeah, I need a smoke. We'll be back in a few minutes right after these valuable words. Are they valuable? Welcome They're to the extremely Women's Club, located away from the crowds but close to home. 
come in throughout the day for Jazzercise, the world's dance fitness leader for nearly 40 years. Treat yourself to a relaxing massage or unwind the lounge area or outside on the balcony with friends. La Buena Vida Women's Club, located and designed with women in mind. For information, call Diane at 650-9721. Hey, you, come here. Do you want to know the news? The Las Cruces channel is now on seven days a week. So keep it right here. today and discover why our service is second to none. In business for over 17 years, we have the right car for you. When you buy a vehicle from Fiesta Motors, we do everything possible to ensure your satisfaction. Located at the corner of El Paseo and Main, see you there. Celebrate Fiesta Motors, we're buying a car, it's always a celebration. We're back, folks. This is Double Talk on Channel 98. Comcast. Comcast. I was just reading the paper. <clears throat> Did yes. you ever read that? You read? Uh, well, you know, it's in big letters. And uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, letters to the editor section, because most people only read uh, uh, sound off, sound off yeah. because that's a studied argument in a, a well, that's, Twitter that's amount of space. The editor. So, there, I, well, here I was shocked. Uh, Thursday's shocked. paper. Yes, yeah, shocked, because here's something that says, Stop Sexual Predators on Ditch. Okay. Do you know anything about this? That there are ditch sex. There, there is a dirt path adjacent to the irrigation ditch and Las Cruces High School, and that's a mecca. That's a very good word. That's a mecca. You think it's like a mecca lecca high? Mecca, mecca, mecca oh, like an hiney. Arab thing. Oh. Mecca hiney for skulking cruises, seeking male companionship. This, first of all, I am shocked that this is the first time I've heard of this. And it's in letters to the editor. If this were an actual thing, don't you <coughs> think that the newspaper would inform us of this and tell us what day, what times are the most uh, fruitful time to get your sexual predators? Well, maybe the person writing in, you know, um, has their own research. Uh, it how does, in this, how does know. somebody know about this? Pedestrians are targeted and periodic. This is a quote: yeah. periodically stalked by males. You're going to love this. Who strike poses indicating desired sexual response. I see. Does, don't you find that to be some good graphic language? That's somebody that understands body language right there. Uh, some display anger when rebuffed in attempt to hinder runners by blocking the path, I guess. That's dangerous. You could get run over. These are acts of sexual predators. He, this person reported X-rated observations to an influential authority having shared responsibility for either administration or student welfare. What does that mean? Who knows, but I can see it now. So you said this article is written by somebody that uh, you're familiar with. Yeah, I've from seen their name. Previous. They've written in before with crazy things. So Ron uh, Torsini, uh, uh, could you back up any of this in your letter? to? The, do you have any si sites, like uh, places that... Do you have any uh, photographs, photographic evidence we, we need, can see? We need something. And the fact that you think victimization by harassment is can be analogous to cyberbullying, don't you think... Harassment is actually a worse thing than cyberbullying in the first place, and to equate it with something lower is a ridiculous analogy. Well, I can see it now. The, the Las Cruces Police Department will set up a sting operation. Yes. Well, maybe we've made them aware because they hopefully they read letters to the editor. So, uh, well, we saw we saw the sting operation uh, with the massage parlors. That took them how many months? Oh, you got to do a lot of, of research. research. Well, hopefully the people in the police department will recognize what these the posturing of sexual innuendos are because it's not just what do you think that or that or what do you think <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah or uh, we can't do it because we have this table in front of us you know we, yes. we, we provocative dress can't do that uh, stuff hmm. Yes. We should do a, Michael, we should do an investigative report. We should take a camera down there. Yeah, hold the you camera pose, while you... I want you to pose <laughs> in a provocative way, and we'll see what happens. We don't have, uh, like, those red light cameras. That, I mean, not the red light cameras. <laughs> red light district cameras? <laughs> red, you know, the ones that see in the dark. We need ones that see in the dark. Although, I can't, I can't imagine. If it, well, it must have happened at night. I can't imagine a ditch. That's true. The ditch 
by I know Las Cruces High. But Judicial Road's right behind you. All you guys meet us there. We'll see you there. Uh, but we're not paying more than the going rate. Would we? No, we wouldn't do that. No, but we'll accept more. Anyway, there are many other things to do in Las Cruces than hang out by a, an irrigation ditch, uh, flaunting your goods. In a provocative way. Yes. Uh, and one of them on? is the th- Southwest Festival of the Written Word, which is going on this weekend in good old Silver City. You know, Silver City, we've said this many times before, good place to go. It's a good place it's, for, to go for the day a, or is it for the weekend. Yes. and Get away s- from it all. Look, some Las Cruces. Speak of a ditch. They've got they, the big they ditch. They have a ditch. And the way they got their ditch? A flood. Oh, my God, yes. Gosh. And, and it used to be Main Street. I mean, <laughs> that's an awesome thing right there uh, in well, Silver City. It's worth that's a, trip. a whoops. That's, uh, you know, the architectural people are coming into town this week. And architects should know not to build on a place that's that, going that's, to eventually be arroyo. undermined by a gigantic arroyo. Yes. Um, two of the people from uh, Las Cruces who are famous are going to be there. Who? Uh, Mark you Medoff. And I? Oh. No, we're not going to be there. Mark Medoff and Denise Chavez, who are both uh, very famous writers of national renown. They have quite a lineup of writers for the entire weekend, so check that out, the Southwest. Yes. And if you have a TV, you have a computer, so look it for the Southwest Festival of Writers in Silver City. Of oh, the check written word. Schedule. Yes. Yes. Now, also going on this weekend, there's a lot of things going on this weekend. This is the this is the season of things. It man. is this month especially. Mm-hmm. And uh, one, another thing going on today and tomorrow, out there at White Sands Monument National Monument is the White Sands Balloon Festival, which goes on every year. The balloons launch from the white gypsum sands and float aloft until they land somewhere else, wherever the wind takes them. So those of you who Never missed the Thanks. Las Cruces Wells Fargo balloon thing, which no longer occurs. Well, it does, but it's it's in the wintertime. It's freezing cold. Is that what happens? And it's a truncated version. But this is a quite a big one, and uh, it's a lot of fun to go to. And, and while you're there, you can go to Alamogordo, which the same day is having the Alamogordo Arts Festival. Although I don't the really Arts recommend Festival. Alamogordo. I have a hard time with Alamogordo these days. I oh, mean, why? Well, they are the ones who burned the Harry Potter books. Wasn't that like five years ago? The Devil is involved somehow with Harry Potter. But years ago, didn't they also have book burning? Same there? people, yes. Yeah, it's the same people. You know, they you burned can't the Harry castig- Potter books. You can't castigate an entire town for a they small... They allowed it to happen. ...a small minority of uh, people who mm, are... It's not a small just, minority. No. Just because they have a billboard that praises Christ when you walk into the town doesn't yes. mean that they have a large amount of people there that uh, no, but also it, in like this to case burn, it does. burn books. In this case, it does. Well, so you have to tread. You have to be kind of like bypass Alamogordo and go on to Ruidosa. But you know, Alamogordo also has a large amount of uh, military people there. They're not all well, officious. They're stuck there. Yes. So you know, they have to deal with it. You know, you, you're holding one little thing against an entire town. You but can't do that because then people would say the same thing about uh, Las Cruces. Some people would say they hate Las Cruces because Las Cruces does not support independent uh, film. Well, yeah, I say Who that. Who would say that? I say that. Yeah, you take one small thing. Same thing you say about uh, Well, I don't uh, like it for that reason. Vaccinations, because you have a little bit of a drop of mercury in it. Just because of one thing, that's prejudice. Well, no, that's... Right there. That's... Um, what is it? It's being... What what is it? It's called uh, vigilism. Vigilanteism. Vigil- oh, no, vigilant. Oh, vigilance. 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 Oh, yeah, the root word for vigilante. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, you and your posse, go take care of uh, Alamogordo. They'll appreciate well. you riding in and... Having some uh, bratwurst. Well, you know what's going on this weekend also, closer to home. No. In La, in poor La Union, flood-stricken La Union, the maze La is Union? opening. The La Union maze is opening. Which didn't get hurt. Apparently, they, well, the ground got really wet, but yeah, it should but be dried bad. out by, by today. So you can go down there, take the kids. It's a lot of fun. Enter the maze, find your way through it, or not. <laughs> you know, never mind the it skeletons. It could be a scary movie. Uh, you never know if you're going to get stuck in a scary movie. La Vina apparently Doesn't wasn't it. wasn't uh, hurt. Oh, was the, the, the they were over wet. The, you know, the they vineyards. can get the 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 noble rot. That's one of those things. That if you have late rain, uh, the the, the grapes get a, well. Yes. No, the grapes get a little uh, ergo on it, which mm. actually turns. If it's the right grape, it turns into a very very good. Pressing. Ergo, so it could it's be a good, good thing. Ergo. 
so, but uh, there's a maze not only in La Union, Union but La. down Picacho, the Mesilla Valley maze, which opens uh, next Friday, I think. And that's, yes. And that lasts for about a month. Until Halloween. Mm -hmm. Goes through Halloween. So get your ready, bring your kids there, bring your dogs there. I don't know if you bring dogs. Mm, well, yeah. uh, maybe. Bring your corn lovers clean, there. If you do, bring, clean up after them. That's yeah. all I have to say on that topic. So also, the maze is always fun. No, there's a, there's a show opening at the Black Box for three days only. These three days? It's coming in from out of town. Well, perhaps it was yesterday was one of them. And it's about the outlaw Friday. who was the sheriff, the first sheriff of Albuquerque. Oh, it's supposed to be uh, very exciting. I believe so, it's a one-man show. Black Box Theater, if you need to get reservations or check it out, the phone number is 523-1223. Have that memorized. I guess so. I do. Now, also appearing Sunday in the park, Young Park, from 3 to 7. The Young Park? Young Park, Are Ashley young Solar. people out there? Ash Solar's Who's Ash performance. Solar? She's a young person. She plays guitar and she sings. How young is she? She's in her 20s now. From 3 to 7? Three to seven. Is that what you do there? That's yeah, what the, it's a, a four-hour show. I can't. Oh believe well, it. that is a big guitar, so maybe she can uh, last true. for uh, four hours. Now there's another musical group that's playing. Uh, nice guitar though. Saturday night tonight. Yes. Ten o'clock. What, what would that be? At uh, Hurricane Alley. Some group I never heard of called the Fuzz. With the PH as in fuzz. Like, oh, it's like fish. fish. Yes. It yes. didn't work for them as well as it did for fish. The yeah. Fuzz. And uh, uh, what you have written here is that it's the final show of a group we never heard of. A group we never heard so of. So it's as if nothing ever happened. That's true. If you don't go see this show, well. You'll never know the difference. It's, uh, yeah. But you if, if you're fans of the Fuzz, if you do know them, yeah, they're a cover group. And apparently they put on a good show. Hurricane oh. Alley's always mm -hmm. a good place to go. Maybe I'll go so, down there. Yeah, it's good. Idea. Now there's pet adoptions going on today until 2 p.m. at Horse and Hound. Horse and Hound? Horse and Hound out there at 991 West Amador. So uh, pets, dogs, cats, you can adopt one out there. You know, speaking of West Amador, I, which you happen to mention, yes. arguments going about whether they should have a light at Melendres in West Amador. Yes. And uh, they uh, probably they, should. Well, they sh How many times have flow? you had uh, it's hard. It's hard cutting across Amador at really certain times of the day. Yes. I frequently have to turn right and then turn left. So, and that's kind of on the way to the pet adoptions. It is, because, so. yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. Well, now, what else is happening? Well, let's see. Tonight, the Rio yes. Grande Theater, Million Dollar Quartet. And that's the, uh, what is it, Sun Records. Sun uh, Recording thing. Artists. So it's uh, Johnny Cash, Elvis Presley, and uh, uh, the People. guy who uh, married Eddie Cochran? his. Uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, Jerry the guy Lewis? who married his 13-year-old uh, cousin. cousin or something. Sure. Uh, although, this is this is a, quite a, Carl a Perkins? great show mm -hmm. because... Uh, People have been trying to get this Rio Grande Theater. They had a coup with the Sonia, Vanya, Masha, and, and Spike. Yep. That was a great show. Uh, this looks like it's a coup. Good We're show. getting it before uh, El Paso gets before, it. Yeah, so they're starting to book some good traveling acts in there, and that's yes. a wonderful thing for Las Cruces. Makes it a good reason to be living in Las Cruces. We're glad we are. and uh, We have to go. Yes, we do. We'll be back, though, next week, right here on Channel 98, for another thrilling episode of Double Talk. See you later.